assuming that both can fend for themselves, but neither one, Choice or John Money, were playing that well. So it looks like they're compensating by picking a smaller stage, trying to ensure that they don't get separated as easily. Um, so in this matchup, the other the other reason that this this small stage is going to cause chaos is because a lot of free combos in most cases. So up throw to a variety of Fox follow ups and then up throw to rest for Puff. Uh, those aren't free anymore in teams, especially on such a small stage, because if your teammate sees you in trouble, your teammate can run over and uh, and knock knock one member out of that combo. So for example, if uh, if Puff up throws the uh, the Neo tag Fox. The Sans Tag Fox could run over and knock the Fox or the Puff out of it, preventing the rest. But it looks right now like uh, like like the Puff might be mixing it up a bit too much. Uh, which isn't to say that, that Puff shouldn't mix it up in teams, but Puff should be judicious and careful. Um, yeah, that, that follow-up, you're, you're not going to get that as Puff. Once you get over about 80, it's, it's really hard to get solid follow-ups against Fox. Um, yeah, you're gonna see the puff go for the uh, go for the edge guard there, but on this stage, it's hard to do. Wow, good back air early in the uh, in the Firefox. Once again, not getting that that edge guard. That's gonna be really important for them because Puff is gonna lose stocks really quickly on this stage. Usually, Choice uh, manages to keep his stocks for quite a while, despite the fact that he is a puff. Uh, puff is actually usually a pretty strong stock tank in teams because a lot of Foxes typical kill setups that one still works but a lot of foxes typical kill setups don't work as well and yeah they're down two stocks right now but it's a, it's a soft two stocks because both of the red team members are at high percents and as i say that that was an excellent pi there by the by the red fox i think the neo tag is hot by the way and i'm assuming the sans tag is a really yeah it, it looks like they're really trying to mix it up a little bit better and the blue team the blue team, it's, it's much more important that they're spacing beyond point because they play such different characters. And so you're going to see John going in in the front there and, uh, and Choice dealing with, uh, dealing with the, the refuse, the trash. And when he's stuck there, uh, back here has got a really good hitbox on this stage, but he's got to be careful because obviously he doesn't want to hit his own, uh, his own teammate. That's a puff follow up there. Uh, that that down smash, sorry, that up smash out of the nair. And if, uh, if the shield would have been there, that would have popped him up, which normally wouldn't matter for puff. But when you have a fox teammate and you pop another fox up, that's a free back air. So the the choices that each character makes are going to be different. All right, so it is blue team versus red team. Uh, only looks like only hot left. The puff is at death percent. Uh, so they've got to be careful here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the blue team basically kept choice. Yeah, right back there. And good job finishing that stock off. Uh, in teams, for those of you that haven't played teams, uh, when you edge guard, it becomes a lot easier because one of you can grab the ledge, which means the other person's only job is to cover the stage. Uh, usually, Puff is better on the stage because it's, it's Puff's options from the ledge are kind of crappy, whereas Fox has back air. Want to get on? But uh, so in most cases, you'll probably see John grab ledge and you'll see Choice uh, stay on the stage. Okay, so bigger stage here. It looks like a, uh, looks like a button test. It seems like uh, set one. It seems like the, uh, <laughs> the double fox team might have tiny controller Johns here, but they might be legit, I don't know. The, uh, the Puff is moving a lot better than the Winners finals. That's that's Alex or Choice, um, and it looks like John feels more comfortable too. So this should be a should be an interesting set. Shouldn't be quite as one-sided as Winners was. Uh, the the last game of Winners finals was not pretty for uh, John Money and, uh, and Choice. Sorry, not Choice. Life. I keep calling him Choice. Changed his tag on me. What a jerk. Uh, so if they do go to Battlefield, nope, they're going to Pokemon. I was going to say if they do go to Battlefield, that's a bad call. So this is obviously a good stage for a double fox team. Um, something that they actually have to be careful of. Uh, normally you wouldn't have to be careful of this, but uh, the shine spiking of the puff here. If you shine spike a puff as a double fox team, it's not so much that the puff can't get back. Usually puff can get back, but the way puff gets back from that is by pounding and moving out and then slowly coming back in. Well, in teams, you can imagine why. That's well, problematic because it gives the other team a chance to double team the fox while the puff is getting back. 
So watch for that. It looks like they're trying to double team uh, John here uh, because it's really hard to obviously double team the Puff. But it looks like uh, it looks like Life and John Money are maintaining their uh, their spacing there. Pay attention to their team's positioning. How they uh, one of them they'll choose one as the point man. So in that case, it was the Fox with the back airs off the platform. The idea being, if one of the Foxes gets through, there's a Puff waiting for him on the ground that can deal with it. And they're still doing a pretty good job. Watch, yeah, watch this. How the uh, the Puff is just going to stand there behind the Fox, providing backup. And that puff is a really high percent, and that's a terrific way to save your teammates' stocks too. In that instance, Ooh, and that was a—it's an up smash that would have been good, but you know, it's in melee, and that doesn't work. Ooh, all right. So a good grab doesn't get anything off of it. This is just a really bad transformation for Puff. Good combo out of uh, out of the pit for John, and the blue team just looks so much better this game, even though they are down. It, uh, that that early early quick stock that John lost is, is really hurting them here. Um, and then you might see the puff. Yeah, see so you're gonna see puff move forward a little bit in their team scheme because Fox has such high damage. And now puff needs to get back. Ooh, doesn't get the rest. You're often gonna see you don't want to be separated by another character from your teammate. Uh, if you think about it uh, in terms of, uh, of setting up a wall, you want to be able to set up a wall with your friend behind you and both of your opponents in front of you. So right now, where there's Puff, enemy Fox, friendly Fox, enemy Fox, that's a bad setup for the blue team. The blue team definitely wants to maintain the setup where they manage to keep two of them, both of them, between one of the Foxes. So. Yeah, right here, again, not something they want, but the Red Foxes are at such a high percent that they can get away with it. Down by one stock. Once again, it's not the Puff that's actually ha having the troubles in this game so much as, uh, as that early stock that was lost. Uh, and they're really missing that right now. The, uh, you see the, the shield from Puff there? In teams, wow, excellent shine spike. Uh, in teams, it's really important to learn how to use your shield offensively. Uh, which means you can use your shield to force force the other team into doing something stupid or into uh, attacking your shield. So in singles, uh, you can you can go crazy on, on the shield of most floaties as a spacey, right? But in teams, obviously, you don't want to do that because then you're wasting time. And it's time that could be spent double teaming an opponent or changing up your positioning. And yeah, this... This game looks like it's probably over for Red Team, barring a Miracle Fox comeback, but I think Hot and O'Reilly are just too good to let that happen. Then again, that, okay. Well, he went for it all there, and if he would have hit it, it would have been a little easier. Um, at some point during this sort of thing, usually O'Reilly turns to Hot and tells him to go away, and he'll just deal with it. Um, at several points during these, these doubles finals with the Construct, you'll hear O'Reilly turn <laughs> Turn to, to his partner, whoever it is, and yell, I've got the puff. Get away. I've got the puff. So we'll see how, uh, how confident he is and how much he trusts his teammate here. That was a good matchup for them. Um, you're probably going to see him go to Dreamland because they can. It's a best of five. No bans. Uh, obviously, this stage is in their favor just because uh, survivability. Um, the puff survives on their team for a long time anyway, and this just exacerbates that problem for the red team. So yeah, watch watch the positioning again. You're gonna see uh, you're gonna see the blue team wanting wanting to maintain that positioning where they have a backup at all times. So right there. Um, okay. So see now that Puff is off stage, that's a bad thing for them, obviously. But they really liked that setup where uh, John was on the platform and Life was on the stage. And he needs to get oh he needed that edge guard there. Yeah, Puff needs to hit her edge guards and teams. Uh, the fact that Puff doesn't stay with her opponent, with her teammate, and the fact that Puff struggles in many cases to get back to her teammate due to her lack of ground speed means that she has to make up for that weakness by hitting her edge guards. So that's going to be really important here. Good shield angling. Uh, that shield DI potentially allows you to get the grab there. You're not going to see the Puff go for too many grabs right now. They just want to finish these stocks off. There's one. I need to get out, really. A back air should do it. A back air should allow for uh, for an edge guard. Yeah, see, he's trying to uh, he's trying to hit him, but there he's uh, he's covering his opponent's uh, recovery. 
Good job on them on their part actually ignoring O'Reilly there. In teams, there's often a, uh, a tendency or a, uh, a temptation, I should say, to ignore, to, to go for an edge guard and, uh, and just ignore the other player. But uh, with the good teams, you'll see always double teaming one player if possible because two is always better than one, right? And two good players fighting against another good single good player is always going to be more effective than splitting up your forces. Ooh, almost a great save there, but it looks like they're really going to pay for that. So now they're down a, uh, a full stock, uh, maybe a stock and a half because uh, John is at high percentage, high damage there. And yeah, you're going to see the puff blocking for the fox. Doesn't work. They get the shine spike, and we're back to even. Um, Puff hasn't gotten any any real punishes so far. Um, admittedly, you know this isn't one of those ridiculous. This isn't going to be one of those ridiculous hungry box games where you know we have five rests in a doubles match. But they uh, they need more than they're getting from from life right now. The uh, when when you play Puff in teams and you play against and you play against a Fox, it's easy to separate you from your teammates. So part oh yeah, that, that's not what was what was wanted there. All right, so I would expect they'll bring it back to uh, to Dreamland. Uh, hopefully they can sort of regain their spacing. They need to get better punishes, frankly. Um, the red team is doing a terrific job of avoiding grabs from the Puff, of avoiding putting themselves in stupid positions. Uh, I didn't see any bad, silly mistakes uh, that came from Red Team, which uh, sometimes they're prone to. And yeah, again, again, we need to see the Puff. I think the Puff needs to be uh, a bit more aggressive, not not in the sense that she has to go in mindlessly, but I think we need to, uh, to see the Puff staying a little bit closer to the Fox in this instance and feeling more comfortable around, uh, around the teammate. Yeah, and that just happens when you play Puff. Uh, the key here is for him to get back in time to avoid anything really bad happening. And that's a terrific job getting that edge guard there, and they need this one too. Excellent. All right, so they got that edge guard. He's going to ride up on the Firefox, and they're in good position. Uh, getting those edge guards obviously is so important. Back to even. Like I say, it's really important uh, for them to be more confident in their spacing which allows the Puff to be aggressive because when you're aggro Puff in teams, it can be really dangerous unless your teammate is there helping you. So we're gonna see, uh, I think we are gonna see Life moving in uh, a little bit more more freely. You already see him trying to poke at the shield of uh, really there with the fairs and the pounds. So that's, uh, remember that's a really with the sands tag and hot with the uh, no tag. All right, and that, that should have been a grab on the Puff's part. Ooh, yeah, he, he didn't, he wanted the other fair. All right, he's gonna try to get edge there. All right, now he's gotta be careful, obviously. That would have been potentially a really, a really good uh, good edge guard, but unfortunately, John went off the stage. So Choice had, I'm sorry, Life had to go rescue him. Ooh, so many fire fixes. <laughs> um, at this point, the Puff is just trying to stay alive. 151, that's instant back air death, unless it's a really, really weak hitbox. And uh, recognizing that, you're gonna see, I think, yeah, okay, this is, this is, you know, at 151, 180 there, that's that's the best the Puff has played uh, so far. But yeah, you're gonna need to see them stay closer together and, and work better as a team. It looks right, like right now, they're just too easily separated. And the Fox team is just beating stocks from John Money. That's a good edge guard. They got that. They need another one. They need this one. Good back air. Like I said, puff on the stage, fox on the ledge. It works. You just got to make sure the other fox doesn't interrupt you. All right. So the foxes are running under puff when uh, when she full hop fares and full hop fares. Uh, Puff's way of answering that, of course, is, is uh, to stay close to the ground, to short hop, to grab. Uh, let's see if if life makes the adjustment. Could not get that edge guard. All right, uh, it is zero. Both of the, uh, the blue teams in good shape here, assuming nothing bad happens. One good back air should do it for uh, for blue. Uh, I don't, frankly, I don't, I don't know why the uh, why the puff isn't isn't a bit more forward here. Um, 
Yep, and so we got the back air. You're gonna see, I think, both Fox and Puff in this instance trying to just hit a back air or an air and knock someone on red team off. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. So this is this is all life here, wow. What a, what a turn of events, what an excellent, excellent shine spike. All right, yeah, that, that bears what they're worried about and it's really dangerous for them to uh, to let one person take it because they're both at such high percent. Any any aerial from Puff is gonna do it here and oh, oh wow, what a great mash out there. Great awareness on the part of life. And yeah, he's in a really bad spot and that's gonna do it. All right, good, uh, good job to, to Hot and Aureli. Good work to John Money and Life coming in second. They're definitely not happy with that, but uh, I'm sure they'll bring it back next construct.